All right, so in typical fashion, Dunkin' or Dunkin' Donuts, whatever you want to call it these days, has come out with a spicy ghost pepper donut. That's right. Dunkin' has come out with some gimmicky little spicy donut, and I'm going to review it right here on Review Time with Tim. All right, so here it is. Dunkin Donuts ghost pepper spicy donut I don't know it looks kind of gimmicky looks like it's just sugar crystals on top I bet it's the I don't know that just smells like a sweet donut yeah just smells like a plain glazed donut and this isn't even glazed I don't see it. I think this stuff is so commercialized, it's not even funny. I guess the new trend now is everything ghost pepper. Doesn't It doesn't. I bet you, I guarantee you, this is not even going to be spicy. It's just going to be sweet. It's just going to be sweet. Like, yeah, this is going to be ridiculous. Light. Oh, oh, there, it is. there it is. A little bit. It's got a little bit of kick to it. It's quite tasty. I'll, I'll give it that. All that sugary donut goodness. A slight, very, very slight amount of heat. Kind of hits you more in the back of the throat than it does when you'd say like around your lips when you're eating out something that's really hot. Kind of hits you more in the back of your throat. Tongue's not even hot. But yeah, it's definitely more in the back of the throat it hits you. I'm going to say that it's... The spice is all in the... Yeah, okay. So, the spice is all in the glaze. That's where that's where the spice is. As for like ghost pepper hot, uh, absolutely not. I mean, because this is commercialized and it's at every single Dunkin' Donuts across probably the world. Who knows? Um, these commercialized ghost pepper gimmicks um, is just not. It's not hot because it's it's just it's just not hot. A little bit of spice. Um, you know, if you were a little kid and you were eating this, you'd probably think it's freaking hot. Uh, but for an adult who has eaten a lot of spicy stuff, they're not going to find this, like, uh, cringeworthy or super hot or anything like that. Um, I've had soups that have been hotter. Uh, I've had beef jerky that's been hotter than this. Um, it's definitely a, a marketing tool to sell more donuts, like they need to sell more donuts. Um... For sure, for sure. Uh, it's tasty though. But it's not hot. Good mix between that sugary, sugary goodness and that little bit of heat spice. But like I said, that heat is hitting you in the back of the throat. Mm. I mean, it's not bad. It's a good donut, to be honest. You know, it's Dunkin' Donuts, so it's... What you're going to get at the Dunkin' Donuts I went to is you're going to get at every Dunkin' Donuts. So, um, again, commercialization of ghost pepper, um, which makes it seem really scary because we've all seen those videos out there on the internet where people are freaking out when they eat a ghost pepper or whatever, you know, pouring milk all over their face and doing all that other stuff. Um, but this, no, no. I mean, it, it's got a little bit of, like, to it, but it's too commercialized. That's what it, it really comes down to. They should just have called this a spicy donut. And, and I think that would be perfectly fine. Spicy donut would be much better than ghost pepper donut. I mean, I get it's October, so, you know, they're looking to add for Halloween factors. 
But, you know, a spicy donut would have done just fine versus ghost pepper. Yeah. Uh, what would I rate the ghost pepper spicy donut from Dunkin' Dunkin' Donuts? Uh, I am going to go with a 5 out of 10 today. 5 because it's really not that spicy, but it's a tasty donut. You know, basic run-of-the-mill tasty donut. So 5 out of 10 for the Dunkin' Spicy Donut. All right, there you have it, folks. Check you all later.